Alright, what's good everyone? So I'm here with my wife Tiffany today and we're gonna do a quick Halloween video for ya. We're gonna do some updates on the blood pythons and some short tail pythons. So let's get it. Alright, so I'm gonna start off with the yearling Sumatra short tail pythons I held back. Let me get the male out for ya real quick. Alright, so here's a yearling male Sumatra short tail python. A little tense. You can see he's got those bright orange eyes, but with every shed, he becomes um, more and more black. So Hopefully by next season this guy will be um, breeding size and age and I can pay him back to his mom because um, I lost the father. So having um, one of her sons go back to uh, produce even darker babies but um, mom is almost jet black and he'll become similar to mom too. Still has another I would say three years of getting darker so he's not anywhere near done darkening up. That's the male. It's a male hold back. And right here we got a female hold back. really like um, how mom passes on those orange eyes because not all Sumatra short tail pythons are going to have those orange eyes. She's really dark too so see all that pattern on the side all eventually disappear as she becomes more um, black develops so we got the females now we're gonna get to some craziness So this is a phantom blood python, which is a druid golden eye. You can see how it almost gives the animal a, a hype boyish look if you look through the body. All the black pigment is basically kind of grayish, except for on the face. <laughs> the face kept retained on um, its black markings, which is cool. So I'm gonna put this one on the table so we can look at her better. You can see how the druid gene really makes the animal look high boyish, kind of. A lot of this pigments, especially in the sides, the spots, that would have been black on a regular golden eye. And on this animal, since the druid gene is in it, it's kind of grayish. It really, um, also any black pigment, anything that have high, heavy amounts of black pigments, like golden eyes, it basically blushes it all out. It makes it kind of explode more too. So all of this on a golden eye would have been more black and stuff like that. So the only black pigment she has is left is really in her face area. She's got a nice um mask. Yeah. Really cool mask look. Really adds to the contrast of her. And this is only a year old, so two, three more years, she's gonna look um even more crazy than what she looks here. Let me see. Really, really great um combo with the druid did with the golden eye she here. She got blushing on the head that's not really picking up from the camera. Yeah, it's like pinkish. Yeah, she got yeah. a lot of pink in her, in her head. Right above the black. Mm-hmm. 
Alright, so I'm gonna put her away and get um, another girl out. So, one last time. She's starting to act a little better. I'm gonna put her back and we'll get the next girl out. Alright, so we're gonna move on to the next druid combination. And this is probably my favorite one so far. A little bit defensive. This was more defensive than the rest of them. So this is um the Nemesis Blood Python. This is a Droid Golden Eye Batik. I'm gonna put her down. Get to the table. Yeah, so, so like I said with the druid, <laughs> so like I said with the druid gene, it really gives the animals, um, it really gives the other genes more of a high bush look or kind of ghoulish look to them. And then this girl's definitely living up to the name Nemesis. Obviously, I'm um, I'm a horror fan, and I played all of the Resident Evil games, so. When I saw this pop out, I had a name her uh, um, Nemesis. Named the combination Nemesis. But Druid, Golden Eye, Batik. Trying to kill me. Yeah. I'm upset. <laughs> hey, you better relax. Yeah, so. <laughs> she is probably the most high strung Blood Python I own right now. But, um. Yep. Mm -hmm. So how quick that is. Mm-hmm. Super quick able to come out. So they pay attention to everything. Behind them. Mm-hmm. A druid male that came out of the wild. Obviously it was a wild caught animal, so his babies and stuff, they're gonna have a little bit more Oomph to them. Of that yeah, defensive nature to them for a while. But they'll grow out of this. The mom's um the regular druids I have that produce these are much better animals now. They don't do none of this this behavior anymore. But it might take them all, take these guys an additional year to fully settle down more. But yeah, you can see bloods really pay attention to every bit of your movement. Very aware of everything, similar to like a retic. But they will stay one spot and hold their ground. Mm-hmm. Coming closer. Love the ghoulish look it gives um the other jeans. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-mm. Don't let her yeah. She's flattening herself. She's mm -hmm. making herself look bigger. Mm-hmm. She's eyeing me. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I'm gonna put this girl away. All right, so I'm gonna take out the final blood fight off for today. I'm gonna show this one off. I'm taking her off because she reminds me of that candy corn candy. But this is um a high white t albino. Pretty sure she has some other genes going on in there. She she never feels comfortable being held. Yeah, she only being yeah. in here. She moves a lot. See, she's actually wrapping me. Yeah, show her from a distance, the whole body. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this animal's yellow, orange, red, white, pink. It's got pinks coming through. Mm -hmm. All types of colors, but yeah, she never, she absolutely she hates, hates, hates being, in being in the air. Yeah. So it's real uncomfortable for her, which is um Normal. typical for a lot of bloods, but 
not like her. She she doesn't really ever relax. Yeah, she never her. settles down. Yeah, when you got her in there, and she'll wrap to hold herself on. I'm scared of falling. Mm-hmm. She's not just running. <laughs> I'm trying to get a yeah, face shot. Definitely reminds she me She moves that. a lot. Candy corn. Let me see. You get the face. Boom. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Yeah, so I have a feeling there's another gene going on with this animal, and that's why it's giving um, the high white. Mm -hmm. I think she might be a super form of it. So she's already breeding this season, and hopefully we'll have more answers on what's going on with her. I'll put her on the table and see if she relaxes a little bit. Yeah, she's real chill. Knowing how she's going to want to be put back. Really crazy looking T-Nag albino. There you go, there you go. Just relax, just relax. She's got a tail on this loopy thing. Yeah, she, she really tenses up when you go to take out. There you go. Mm -hmm. All the nice high whites on her. Coming up. All that coloration. I'm sorry, lady. Fully mature adult. How old is she now? She is a 2016, so she's fully done coloring up. Best part about bloods is seeing the transformation they make. This girl was um very yellow. She didn't have none of these reds and oranges. She was a real pale yellow, not even the yellow she has now. And you can see if you look here, look over here, you can see that the red is bleeding into the yellow. It's making it look a little more orangey. So hopefully have some babies. Get um get some answers to what's going on with uh by spring and summer. So I'm gonna put this one away and then for the last, last ones, I'm gonna let my wife show those off. All right, so this is the female Sumatran short tail python. She's the mother to the babies I showed at the beginning of the video. I was actually hoping to show her before she went into shed or blue, but, but she's fully in blue right now. So if you look, look how blue she is. Super, super blue. This is a really dark black animal. I'll post a picture up of her that I took about, I would say last week. And then look at those really blue eyes. Let me see if it'll focus. There we go. Yeah, but she's so um, ghostly looking right now. I figured she'd still look good for the video anyway. Looks gorgeous. Yeah. Looks blue. Gray blue. Yeah, so some options look really, really cool when they go deep into shed. Their size and everything. Mm hmm. And she's not a big animal. Probably about 12 pounds or so. Really nice looking. Tilt up, tilt up, show her belly a little bit. Those sides, there you go. Go all that blue. Mm -hmm. Hold the tail now. Mm. Just go. Really, really ghostly. See yep. All right, let's get on to the next. All right, so here's the last one. This is currently our oldest Sumatra short tail python. She's also the largest one. Bigger than me. I own? Yeah, she's, yeah, she is longer than you. She is bigger than me. I would say five and a half, five and a half feet. She might be close to six, but she's big. Look at the, the girth. She's massive. She's probably about I would say maybe 20 pounds. Belly. Yeah. 
really nice and black. Yeah, she's about as girthy as like uh, I would say uh, probably a 10 foot berm, nine foot boa, really, really heavy built animals you can mm -hmm. see. But still short. Very vocal today. But yeah, this is the oldest girl I have. How dark black her head is. Come here, girl. I haven't bred this girl in um wow. It's been years since I bred her. She's just um mostly just a showcase display type animal for us. We like to bring it to the expo sometimes. Yeah. Spread out, like you're gonna do just now. No, no, your other arm, yeah, like that. There you go. That shows her size. Really, really massive. She's uncomfortable. Yeah, solid black tongue. Let's put it on the table. All right, so here she is. It's a pretty big table too, so give you an idea of that girth on her. When did I pick up this girl? I think I picked this girl up in, man, I wanna say 2012, 2013, something like that. So I put her at what, 10 years old? Probably a little over 10, right? She's nice. Mm -hmm. We don't have her out as much super often, so when I do get out, especially like this, it's almost as though she's gotten bigger. Mm -hmm. okay. You can see, even though she's super black, this still a pattern in there so that's what we're trying to do right now with the Sumatran short tails we're trying to line breed them to get rid of that pattern that little bit of pattern that's still showing through get them completely jet black one day no visible pattern but yeah this girl has a baby even which even like the ones I showed in the beginning had all that pattern and then the, the smaller female we just showed is actually darker than this girl as well, so. But this is the potential your Sumatran short tail pythons can reach size-wise. If you decide to let them get that big, you can keep them smaller. They have a really slow digestive system, um, the shorts and bloods, so they don't need to be really big in order to breed. And they hold on to all that weight. Pick up one last time. So that's pretty much it. Y'all already know what it is. Hey, comment, subscribe. Till next time. Later.